Good morning, it is 7 a.m. and we are in Guayaquil, Ecuador, which is currently one of the most dangerous cities in all of Latin America. There's a waterfall outside of this city that we've been wanting to go to for a few years. When we were here a couple years ago, there was a kidnapping with, it was a huge group, but I think overall in the year, I believe it was like 90 people. I'm gonna fact check all of this in editing, but there was a lot of kidnapping going on on the hike out to this waterfall. They were just basically taking people, gagging them, and taking everything from them and assaulting a few of them. I think it might be safer this time because we found some people through TikTok videos and Instagram videos. I messaged them. These guys go to this waterfall a lot. They actually know of Steven and I from Instagram and YouTube. They agreed to take us. Hopefully everything goes well. Yeah, we're staying in a really nice place here in Guayaquil, but it's looking a little gloomy and nasty out. We gotta take an Uber over to the bus station, take an hour and a half bus ride to the town that these guys are gonna be in. We're gonna meet them there. And then we gotta hop in another car for 45 minutes down a crazy four wheel drive road and then hike to the waterfall. Hopefully everything goes smooth. I'm praying. Still don't know who the guy is that's driving. The other guys that are with us got that all aligned for us. We just came up to this, which I don't think we can make it. I don't think it's possible. Looks like we might have to do the rest on foot. <laughs> all right, we're walking now. Hopefully, they said it's only like 15 minutes more because it's normally a two and a half hour walk. We're leaving the truck behind because he can't make it through there. And we'll meet him back here at like in three hours. Hopefully he's here and we don't have to walk all the way back to town. So we got some horses here. If we each take one horse, then we don't have to walk anymore. So none of these guys speak any English other than, hi, how are you? So uh, we're just using Google Translate back and forth to figure everything out. It's not that bad, it's an adventure. Starting to think this is more than 15 minutes. We're in the middle of freaking nowhere out here. It's just us and the cows and a couple horses. Hot and sticky here. Okay, we finally made it. It was like 40 minute walk, not 10. Finally going all the way down to the water. Gonna go depth check it, even though it's apparently, everybody says it's 50 meters deep, but there's no way it's that deep. We're gonna go scope it out, make sure it's safe, go to the top and then jump it. Or jump, there's a waterfall in a cave too, so maybe jump the waterfall in a cave and then go jump the big one. <laughs> oh wow, dude, this is big. Woo -hoo. This thing is definitely bigger than 20 meters. Holy shit. This is much bigger than I had thought. I wanna say this is like, this is more like 75 feet, not 60. Online it said this was 66 feet. I'm thinking it's more like 75. Woo -hoo -hoo. We freaking made it. Damn. Gracias, amigo. I depth checked it with Steven's pole, which is like 15 feet, and it was going like two or three feet under the water, so it's looking like 18 feet at the deepest point, but then it gets shallow really quick, so I gotta make sure that there's a good takeoff point to land where it was super deep. So we're going to the top right now. I'm gonna scope it out. I never expected to see a crab on this hike. Measured the waterfall with my drone. It's like 72 feet. I was hoping for more like 60. Not ideal for a takeoff. It's all wet up here. I was hoping here was gonna be a little bit dry and I'd be able to run, but maybe. Super fucking slippery over here. That is the best bet. All right, I gotta figure this out. Takeoffs are looking, found one spot that I wanna go from, but it's in, I'd be jumping from in the water and it's like an inch deep with water moving pretty fast, which is not the bad part. The bad part is there's a tree hanging right above where I wanna jump. So when I go out, I'm really worried that my feet are gonna hit the tree if I'm upside down. I don't know. It's, I don't think I'll hit it, but like mentally it's gonna mess me up. I need to figure something else out for that. But we're going to look at the cave. Oh my God. No way. This is so sick. Okay, Steven's swimming into the cave and I'm gonna jump into the cave. This place is a mission. The bats are so loud in that cave. And I'm gonna go join them. Look how perfect this is. Nice little 15 foot waterfall sand in the cave and then a 72 foot jump after that. And these bats sound like they are not happy. You can see Steven right there. Oh yeah. 
One of the most unique clip jumps I've ever done. Waterfall jumps. Oh no. All right, the branch is gone. Thank God that thing was mentally messing me up. This is my takeoff point right here. And I got to boost out, but not too, too far because it's not super deep when you go far. It's very grippy though, thank God. Looks like it's time. It's beautiful. It felt like it felt like 75 feet to me. Alright, we're leaving the waterfall now. We gotta start walking all the way back to wherever the truck's gonna be. Big big thank you to these guys because without them, there's no way we would have made it here. Literally just found them through Instagram and TikTok. Sent them a message and they were down to help us out. <laughs> gotta love social media sometimes. This is a little hut at the top. Gracias. Gracias. Don't know what he's saying, but I think he said enjoy your walk. He owns the property, so pay him a dollar and he lets you go to the waterfall. Back to Guayaquil and then we leave in like less than two days. Look at all the police bikes coming in. Oh my god. Dude. Oh, they just. Oh my god. They just shot a guy in the street. Oh no. Get down, get down, get down.